Many studies underlying the beneficial effect of the bioactive fish peptides in diabetes type 2. The fish peptides retarding the absorption of glucose by inhibiting the carbohydrate hydrolyzing enzymes, such as pancreatic alpha amylase and alpha glucosidase. The inhibition of these enzymes delay carbohydrate digestion and protract overall carbohydrate digestion time. This result in the reduction in glucose absorption rate and consequently dulling the postprandial plasma glucose rise. Alpha amylase hydrolyzes complex carbohydrates, such as starch, into oligosaccharides. This enzyme is secreted from the salivary and pancreatic glands. The amylase activity can be measured by different analytical methods that use reducing sugar products of starch enzymatic hydrolysis. The most popular is the dinitrosalicylic acid method, but this has several limitations and drawbacks. A simpler method is the one that uses starch azure instead of natural substrate. Because of the direct spectrophotometric detection at 595 nanometers of hydrolysis products. For amylase inhibitor activity, the material needed is samples dissolved in DMSO 0.1%. Eppendorf tubes, tries hydrochloride buffer 0.5 molar with 10 millimolar of calcium chloride and pH 6.9. 10 mg per milliliter of starch azure in tris, hydrochloride buffer. Alpha amylase from porcine pancreas 0.05 units per milliliter in tris, hydrochloride buffer. An acetic acid 50%. To this assay is necessary to do the control blank. The control. The sample blank and the sample reaction as can be seen in the screen. To do the sample reaction add 200 microliters of sample and mix with 100 microliters of enzyme. The samples must be tested in various concentration and in triplicates. To control blank replace the sample's volume for DMSO 0.1% and the volumes of enzyme for tris hydrochloride buffer. The blank of sample is done by mixing the sample with buffer instead of enzyme. Lastly, it's needed to do a reaction control where the sample's volume is replaced by DMSO 0.1%. Next pre-incubate for 20 minutes at 37 degrees Celsius with agitation. Also, incubate the substrate starch azure to be at 37 degrees when added. Add 200 microliters of starch azure and incubate for 10 minutes at 37 degrees Celsius with agitation. After incubation, stop the reaction by adding 500 microliters of acetic acid 50%. Centrifuge at 4,500 rpm for 5 minutes at 4 degrees Celsius. Read the samples at 595 nanometers. The inhibition percentage is given for equation shown in the slide. Alpha-glucosidase is a membrane-bound enzyme found in the epithelial mucosa of the small intestine. That breaks down starch and disaccharides to glucose. The method used to evaluate the alpha-glucosidase activity is based on the spectrophotometric determination of a colored product. This product is the paranitrophenol released from paranitrophenyl alpha deglucopyranosid substrate by the action of this enzyme. For glucosidase inhibitor activity, the material needed is samples dissolved in potassium phosphate buffer. Microplates with 12 by 8 wells. Potassium phosphate buffer 0.1 molar and pH 6.9. Alpha glucosidase from Saccharomyces cerevisiae with 0.5 units per milliliter in potassium phosphate buffer. And paranitrophenyl alpha glucopyranosid 5 millimolar in potassium phosphate buffer. Like in the previous assay, in this assay is also needed to do the control blank. The control. The sample blank and the sample reaction as showed in the screen. Start by measure 50 microliters of phosphate buffer to the wells with an odd number. Next add plus 10 microliters of phosphate buffer to wells 1 and 2.
pipette 10 microliters of sample to the wells 3 to 12. The samples must be tested in various concentration and in triplicates. The next step is the addition of the alpha glucosidase. For that measure 50 microliters to all the wells except number 1. Pre-incubate for 10 minutes at 37 degrees Celsius in the microplate reader with low speed shaking. After pre-incubation add 50 microliters of substrate in the well 1 and all the even number wells. Incubate 5 minutes at 37 degrees Celsius in the microplate reader. The remaining alpha glucosidase that was not inhibited will react with the substrate and release paranitrophenol. Read the samples at 400 nanometers in the microplate reader. The inhibition percentage is given for equation shown in the slide. Seafood age. Smart food choices, no matter how old you are.